So we have our plot outer and we have our inner terrain or terrain inner and they're in unity but they actually aren't lined up okay they're all they're both centered in zero space so one of the corners is exactly in the zero space so x y and z at zero but that's not where we want our outer terrain if you recall when we created our lidar all right our inner terrain was completely centered in our outer terrain well that's not the case currently in unity so let's fix that so let's go into unity and if we scroll out, well, let me throw our back out a little bit here, and I'll show you what I mean by this. Okay, so there is our outer, and let me turn that off. And there's our inner. So you can see the corners here match up, but what we really want is our inner, okay, and I'm circling my inner here, it really needs to be out here somewhere in the center of our outer so that we're looking out in from the middle of our outer rather than from this corner okay so how do we do that well let's highlight our outer and if you click on something and it's not highlighted one thing you can do is you can come up here see selection outline so make sure that that is turned on um in this case i can't really see the selection outline i'm not really sure why i'm telling you that but <laughs> but if you click on inner Okay, make sure you're selected on outer. So let's go to our outer plot. So we have our outer plot selected and we're gonna go to our spreadsheet here. And you see these transform settings at the bottom, X, Y, and Z? Well, we're gonna enter those into our transform settings up here for our outer. So we've got minus 1500 for X, or actually it's minus 1505 for X, so minus 1505 enter you can see that shifted our outer now a little bit it was also minus 1505 for z okay and what was it for the y so the y it's saying minus 0.2 minus 0.2 so now if we come over here and we have our inner and we turn our inner on and off you can maybe see it a little bit here let me zoom in a little bit closer and you can see that our inner is now exactly on top of our outer okay and what you're seeing here when i turn the inner off you're actually seeing our golf course okay on the outer but when i turn this on you're seeing our inner terrain here okay now the problem is that we have some things we call z fighting here and we got to fix that. So how we fix this is we're going to edit the texture on our outer. So instead of having our sat image, which is really like a very similar sat image, like right here in this area, it's the sat image is the same on both. So it's hard to differentiate them. But if we come here to our outer plot and remember, we go to edit textures and we can go some here to edit texture. And well, actually, before we do that, <laughs> we need this special texture and it is in our LIDAR download resources. So it's become back in here and we go, if you remember our project and we have our LIDAR folder and you can see in here, where is it? It's not in this one. Let's go into the next one. This light blue PNG. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drag it into our terrain backup folder. All right. So now we've got this light blue texture. It's just a very simple texture. And I got our plot outer. I'm going to go here to edit texture. Add, actually, I'm not going to add. I'm sorry. I'm going to edit texture. And I'm going to replace our satellite overlay right now, which is our Oakmont outer G. I'm going to replace it with this light blue texture. Drop that in. Boom. See what happens here. Now you can clearly see that our outer is fighting with our inner. So how do we fix this? Well, we're just gonna slowly lower our outer until that's gone. So how do we do that? Well, I can come over here and right now it's negative 0 0.2. Let's just change this to one meter down. So I'm gonna do minus one. Much better, still not perfect, okay? And if I scroll in here a little bit, get close, actually it's, starts to disappear as it get closer 
So we're in pretty good shape. We're pretty close. But we can get this slightly better. I'm going to try to raise this or lower this by 2 now. And you can see when I lower it to 2, the blue pretty much entirely disappears, especially when I'm getting close here. So now when I fly around my inner terrain here, am I seeing any blue anymore? No. It's pretty much gone. Uh, what's this over here? Oh, no, that's just a swimming pool in this satellite image. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so we can, that's pretty much good. So you might have to lower this, you know, 5, maybe 10. It's not a big deal lowering it 10 meters because you really don't notice the difference of lowering. Let me even show you here. Let me do minus 10. You barely notice that out here, okay? I'm going to move this back to 2, though, minus 2. Um, now what I want to do is I want to change this texture, though, back to my satellite. So I'm going to go edit texture, edit texture, and then I'm going to do my Oakmont outer G, drag that back in, hit apply. And now you can see as I look around, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. I've got my inner here. I've got no Z fighting with my outer because I just fixed that. And, and there's some terrain starting to show in my outer. So good stuff. So next thing here to do is save my scene. Changes are saved and I am done.